Hi, my name is Anise and welcome to a new episode with Come with Come On Site. Today, I will talk to you about the exciting urban art and graffitis of Berlin. As far as we can go back in the history of mankind, graffiti were used as a way to express oneself, maybe in the cave in the prehistorical time, on pavements in the Romans or Greek Empire, in the rise of the revolution of the 60s and 70s, or today, in the modern times. Art, and especially street art, has often been used as a way to pass political ideas or to revolt against a system. This was especially true in divided Berlin, with high restriction in the East. Citizens of the West used art as a way to spread political ideas of liberation and used the west side of the wall of Berlin as their empty continents. In the 90s, after the fall of the wall, Many international artists were invited to paint the wall as a symbol of peace and unity. And today, the wall stands with graffiti, tags, and drawings on both sides as the emblem of freedom and creativity of the city of Berlin. After the reunification as a growing and affordable metropole, Berlin continuously attracted more and more artists which also resulted in a rise of the street art around the city. While the term street art has been developed in the underground scene of the United States in the 80s, many of the modern techniques were developed here in Europe. Initially illegal or from the underground scene, the exciting part of street art is that it is continuously changing and it is always an adventure to walk around the city and discover a new piece of art on a, build, on a building or under a bridge. Nowadays, graffiti and street art has rapidly become an important trademark of the city of Berlin, which is often seen as the capital of urban street art in the world.